Okay, this is data processing 2. We're going to start with bivariate analysis. Bivariate analysis means examining the relationship between two variables. So for example, do you approve of equal rights for women? So this is two, two variables. We've got approve of equal rights and we've got men and women. We're looking at the difference, do men approve for equal rights and do women approve for equal rights? So the variable are, variables in this relationship are gender and approve. Okay, so this is a chi-square. And, <coughs> excuse me, you can look at it. Um, the top line, the second line is a little bit indented. It should be a little bit more to the right. But um, if you look, of men, so we're looking at men, 63% of men surveyed approve of equal rights for women, and 37% disapproved. So we're reading down through the column. Of women, 75% approve of equal rights, and 25% disapproved. Now this is made up. This just came off the top of my head, so don't get, don't worry about that. But um, so when we're reading this, we're reading down through the column, okay? So the far left column says response, approve or disapprove. The next one is men, 63 and 37 percent, and then the far right one is women, 75 percent and 25 percent. So that shows the relationship between those two variables. So you can look at this and say more women approve of equal rights than men. Okay, a Pearson's correlation is another way of looking at um, relationships. Oh, you know what? Let's back up for just a second. This um, chi-square if you want to, if you um, look at this, this is categories, right? Approve and disapprove, those are categories, and gender, men and women, those are categories. So when we're looking at the relationship between two categorical variables, we want to do a chi-square. That's why we needed to look and say, was our, what level of measurement did we measure our variables at in paper three? Okay, because if they're categorical, nominal, or ordinal, we could do a bivariate analysis. Okay, so if they're not categorical, if they're continuous, interval, or racial, we can do a Pearson's correlation. So this shows us the degree to which two variables are related, and our output is either minus one, between minus one and one. You're going to get some number in between there. And the stronger the relationship, the further away from zero and the closer to either minus one or one. Okay? Minus one shows a negative relationship, one shows a positive relationship. And a, a minus one or a one is a perfect relationship, which actually is a problem. That shows that we're measuring the same thing in both variables. So we don't actually want a perfect relationship, but a strong relationship would be good. So a strong relationship would be like a 0.6 or a, a negative 0.6. So if we have two continuous variables, we're going to do a Pearson's correlation, such as if we did a score on a depression scale and age. Those are continuous variables. We could do a Pearson's correlation to see if um, they're related to each other. Okay, multivariate analysis. This is when we have more than two variables, and this is when we're trying to um, predict something. So in this example, we've said, you know, we think there might be a difference between older women and younger women, and we think 30 might be the cutoff age, um, and also for men, with, or older men and women. So we think that there's a generation difference between women and men who are younger than 30, and women and men who are older than 30. So we're going to look at, do you approve of equal rights for women again? So we're going to look at that attitude, approve of equal rights. We're going to look at, at sex or gender again. But we're also going to look at age because we think there might be a difference there. 
So these are three variables, and it's a multivariate analysis, but it's a chi-square again. And it's showing us that of women who are younger than 30, 90% of women and 78% and of men, of people who are younger than 30, approve. But of people who are older than 30, only 60% of women and 48% of men approve. So there's this difference there between their age and whether or not they approve of equal rights for women, right? Another way to do a multivariate analysis is a regression. And this is when we put in several variables at one time to control. We can control for these variables. And we can determine how much each of these variables affects our dependent variable. So if you remember from your statistics class, this formula here is dv on the left is dependent variable equals first independent variable plus the second independent variable plus the third independent variable. So how much each of those predicts the outcome. Okay, so I don't want um, you to panic about statistics, and um, I don't want you to get too, too worried about this, but when we're creating our analysis plan, if we want to know about cause and effect, a regression analysis is what we usually run. So we may say um, our intervention and age and gender all affect our outcome variable. Uh, so for example, um, let's say depression is our outcome. We think that our cognitive behavioral intervention and gender and age all affect those. So those are our independent variables and our dependent variables depression and we want to re run a regression analysis to see how much they predict that. Now the important thing to think about when you're doing your analysis plan, when you're trying to figure out what statistics are going to, to um, be used in my study is, what is your research question? We have to look at, we have to go back to the research question and we have to say, with these variables, what statistics can I run to answer it? That's the key, answering the research question. Always go back to that research question. Now I have my variables. What statistics do I have to run to answer it? So read your question and then look at, this, look at the level of measurement and then try to figure out what statistics can we run to answer our research question. Now there are other statistics too. There's a t-test. That's if we want to know if the average of one group is different than the average of another group. So that's when we have both um, categorical and continuous. So let's say we have hair color blonde and red, and we want to know if um, blondes score higher or lower on a math test than redheads. So we would have, so our research question might be, um, do, blondes, are, do blondes really score lower on math tests? So we'll have math test scores, that's continuous variable, and we'll have hair color, red head and blondes, that's categorical, and we can run a t-test and get the average score for the redheads and the average score for the blondes and know if, on average, blondes really do score less on a math test. That could answer our research question. So, I am more than willing to help you figure this out. Think about it as a group and then um, contact me if you want some help.